Good morning everybody peeps. It's Richard here. Now, I was recently diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and to get around that I put myself on a high protein, low carb diet. It seems to miss out on some of the roughage that one might expect or need and so one doesn't poo quite as frequently or so easily as one might like. I also sometimes don't drink as much water as I should. The result of this is that sometimes I wake up and I'm a little constipated. And um, when I get like that, I feel, how should I say, you know, I can go to the loo and wait and wait and wait. Or I could go to the loo and strain and uh, make myself very ill. Or I can help nature on its way and solve things very, very simply. Here is a little device which I purchased from Anne Summers. It is called a body bath. And what one does with one's body bath is that one fills it with water. Then one has to warm it ever so slightly because you don't want cold water up your bum. You really don't. So um, I used to have a little microwave which blew myself up a little while ago. Um, so when my microwave blew itself up, before my microwave blew itself up, I used to put my body bath in the, in the microwave filled with water and leave it in there for about 18 seconds. 18 seconds got it to a nice sort of tepid temperature. Anything less, it's a bit uncomfortable. Anything more, you rip your bowels apart. Um, anyway, that's, uh, that's a bit of a problem with that, the, the microwave blow up. So I've got, now I've got this little geet in Lovely little ghee tin, it's empty, no more ghee in it. So what I do now is I put my body bath in the ghee tin and I pour boiling water all over it and I leave it there for a while. Strange to say, it has to be left there for quite a long while and although the outside of the body bath is in fact quite hot, the water inside is merely tepid. So I leave it there for say a minute or two and then I take it to the bathroom and I insert it up my anus and then, and here, children, is the song. I'm going to squirt some water up my bum. I'm going to squirt some water up my bum. I'm going to squirt some water just like I am. I ought to. I'm going to squirt some water up my bum. Now, my sister's trained to be a nurse and being part of the medical profession, the latest fashion is apparently that one doesn't squirt water up one's bum. So Les is constantly telling me, don't squirt water up your bum. Richard. And I'm saying, well, it's my bum and I know it intimately and I'll do what the fuck I like. So for Leslie and for everybody else, here it is again. I'm going to squirt some water up my bum. I'm going to squirt some water up my bum. I'm going to squirt some water just like I know I ought to. I'm going to squirt some water up my bum. And here is my advice to everybody out there. When it comes to your health, whether it's your physical health or your mental health, Take care of it yourself. Big Pharma only wants to make money. Many doctors are idiots. <laughs> I mean, my own local doctors are very, very nice, you know. But uh, the medical profession as a whole, if you know, if you go out there to the World Wide Web and you, you listen to what, what they're saying, um, you know, I've changed it on conference as well for various reasons and listen to what's being said. And I'm thinking, you're barking mad, aren't you? You really are barking mad. So, you know, as I say, if you've got an ounce of intelligence and you can work things out, look after your own health as much as possible. Do not take the pills, whatever they might be. They will kill you in the end. I mean, look at fluoride, for example. Uh, they tell you that the reason they're putting hexafluorosilicic acid in the water is to protect your teeth. I would advise you to Google hexafluorosilicic acid, and it is what they put in the water, when they put it in the water, and um, you'll find from the Centre of Disease Control there's a little sheet on hexafluorosilicic acid and what to do with hexafluorosilicic acid if you happen to be working with it. One of the things they tell you to do with hexafluorosilicic acid is avoid all contact. <laughs> then they tell you what to do if you get it in your eyes or if you accidentally ingest it. It isn't very good for you. It will kill you. You don't need very much of it, and you'd be as dead as dead can be. And this is what they put in your water. Do be very careful. Sometimes it does feel to me as though the masters of the universe really do not 
have our best interests at heart. Over and out.